I've got a lot of new pickups from Uniqlo to Nike to footwear and things that'll spruce up your space. Let's get into it. So this first pickup is a banger and it is from the new Uniqlo U collection. And it's this hooded coat right here. And for reference, I'm five foot seven, 162 pounds. You know, your boy's been bulking a little bit. And I got this one in a size medium. This is meant to be oversized. And the coolest aspect has to be its cuts. You've got a drop shoulder design with options and hardware to adjust the sizing of your cuff. And something I can always appreciate is pocket design. It really makes a difference compared to another Uniqlo coat I have. You know, if you just take a look at the pockets, this one is much more of a statement. You've also got that double zip, which should be standard in every jacket. I don't know why it's not. And you can choose to cover it with the extra fabric and snap buttons. Very clean and subtle. And I just like how even when you do zip it up and snap everything together, you just get a different tasteful look. Blade Runner vibes for sure. And if you want the hoodies detachable and that just gives you a ton of different styling options This is definitely going to stay in your wardrobe for sure. And yes, this is from the women's section Ooh, probably couldn't tell until I just told you and I know that may be weird for some So there is a men's version which I don't think is as cool as this one And so this one right here I highly recommend and now our next Uniqlo item is the two-way pocketable bag So I got them in two colors Got an olive colorway and a more maroon, dusty, purple kind of colorway. These are definitely my go-to travel bags now. And by travel bags, I mean like on a flight. I have a bunch of city commuting bags, but these ones are perfect for traveling because they can actually fold into themselves into a smaller, tiny package. So yeah, it's a normal sling bag or you can treat it as a tote bag. And whenever you do have a flight, all you have to do is collapse it. And you now have an extra carry bag for your vacation. These colors are simple, nothing too loud and pairs beautifully with basically any fit and they've got a ton of colors you really can't go wrong with any of them they also restock the cinch bag from earlier fits throughout the year and they have those in a bunch of different colorways as well if you don't like this one now the last Uniqlo pickup before we move on is the checkered shirt with a mandarin collar so as you can see there's no traditional collar and it just makes this a more unique piece. I already made a YouTube short on how Mandarin collars are very underrated. It's a good way to stand out and I think it layers much nicer as well. And the simple checkered pattern makes this piece perfect for an all black fit. Subtle contrast still keeps this an all black piece, but it'll help with separation when it comes to other black pieces in your fits, which I just think is necessary for an all black fit. Another detail I really like is this hem. The front is shorter and the back is longer. So with the side view, it has this staggered look that's really nice. And they even have a pleated detail in the back, which really isn't necessary, but I can always dig that. Another pickup I have been enjoying are these socks from Bombas, the sponsor of today's video. So if you saw my last video, you would know the importance of wearing the right socks and Bombas has you covered. You see, I've bought some cheap socks before and they feel awful to wear by the end of the day. You know, you got the fabric fibers in between your toes, it's disgusting. You don't get that with Bombas. In fact, these are the comfiest socks I've ever worn. I have the no-shows, the crew socks, and the performance heavy-duty socks. First off, it is mad cold out here on the East Coast, and so these heavy-duty socks are the move. Super thick, sweat wicking, keeps the feet dry, and is still breathable. But the favorites and staples of the wardrobe are the no-show socks and crew socks, which comes with a cushioned footbed, a honeycomb arch support system, and they stay hugging to your calves or ankles. No-show socks feel exactly the same, comfortable and breathable, but it's perfect for the summertime. Now the best aspect and why I love supporting Bombas is one purchase equals one donated because socks are the most requested items whenever it comes to homeless shelters. And so whenever you purchase a pair of socks, it will go directly to supporting that. If you wanna pick any of these socks up, definitely click that link in the description. They got basically every colorway you can ask for, black, white, and a ton of fun colors. Every time you see me wear a pair of white socks in the fits, it is from Bombas. Thank you Bombas for supporting the channel and sponsoring today's video. Back to it. So now let's move on from Uniqlo to these Doc Martin boots right here. My people up north, New Yorkers, Chi-Town, Canada, anywhere where it snows heavily, these boots are for you. This is the Blizzard Waterproof Chelsea boot. So it comes with this thick winter grip outsole and it is fleece lined inside to keep your feet warm. So I've been through a lot of New York winters and honestly regular Chelsea's and even just regular boots, sometimes it's not the move. Like, you know when your girl puts her cold ass feet on your back? Yeah, that was basically me every single winter. I don't have to worry about that with these because of that fleece line, it's thick, and of course, waterproof. So any dogs I think are a great introduction to boots. They add extra height, they're subtle with its design, and you've got that slight military look. And if you don't live in an area that has a lot of blizzards or it snows a lot, I recommend these combat boots from Doc Martens. Also another great introduction to the brand and these style of boots. These ones are also much more affordable and you still get that classic 
and Doc Martens look. But if you live in a colder climate where it snows a lot, I definitely recommend these ones. But either way, any Doc Martens I think is a great introduction and worth your money. And it's uh, starting to get a little dark here. Let me turn on the light. Definitely see my mess back there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide in front of the mirror. Next up are the Isimiyaki on Police trousers. Yes, this was filmed on a different day, and yes, these are mad expensive. With it being mad expensive, does that come with quality? Absolutely it does, but there is drawbacks when it comes to quality and paying for a higher price. I'll get into that in a sec. Let's talk about the trousers itself. These are beautiful. The pleated detail work is crazy. I don't think a lot of people understand how much it takes to get these pleated details to be straight, aligned. So in order to get pleated work done, it requires heat and pressure. So anytime you have a pair of trousers, whether it be single pleated, double pleated, it requires a lot of heat and pressure and precision. So the fact that these pants, the entire thing is pleated, just goes to show that a lot of care goes into these pants and RIP Mr. Miyaki. So yeah, the entire pants are pleated, but there's a single pleat down the middle where all the pleated details meets. And it's just a really, really cool look. And I've seen other pleated trousers that I really don't like the shape to it. This one I think is perfect. It's nice and relaxed fitting. It's light taper down past the knees because of this detail right here. So this is very versatile. You can pair it with sneakers, you can pair it with boots. It looks great. Now, because it is pretty cold out here on the East Coast, these are not really that great for us. These are more of a spring summer pair of pants I would recommend, unless you drive a car. I have to walk around everywhere, so these really aren't that great. And going back to the price of these, comes some drawbacks. So when you first get these pants, there's a warning that says, don't sit on these pair of pants too long. Don't apply too much pressure. Don't apply too much heat to it because you could ruin the pleated detail work. So a lot of care has to go into this yourself as the owner. And that's just what happens when you pay more for something. Like when you have a Rolex versus a regular watch, you don't really care about the normal watch as much. These pair of trousers, I gotta watch where I'm going to eat. I gotta watch how long I'm gonna be sitting for. So something to consider, but Worth the price, definitely, if you got the money. But if you're really not too into fashion, there's probably something better for you. Okay, moving on to our next piece is this right here, and that is the All Saints Zigzag Sweater. So, first off, don't do what I did. You see this right here? Knitted sweaters tend to have extra weight to it. So whenever you hang it up, gravity will pull the fabric down and actually stretch out this collar area. So don't do that. This is just for the purpose of this video. Whenever it comes to sweaters, make sure you fold them. But knitted textured pieces like this is perfect for the season. The light just hits the textured fabric differently, making it stand out. This piece also has that split hem where it's shorter in the front, longer in the back. And one side is brown, the other side is black with that zigzag pattern. Definitely Charlie Brown vibes. I got this in a size medium and it fits normal. Nothing too oversized or tight fitting. And honestly, if you got a tight fitting knitted piece, I think it'll just get a little bit too itchy. And even this one, I'd recommend wearing a white tank top underneath so that it pokes out a little bit down here and it'll help with that itchiness. I'm gonna take it off its hanger now and fold it so that we don't get that shoulder crease. All right, so the next piece is also from All Saints and it is this tie-dye shirt right here. So for my wardrobe, graphic tees and statement tees are kind of missing in my wardrobe aside from my cold wall shirt. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that. I just need a little spice in my life, you know? Switch it up every once in a while with something a little bit louder. And that's what this piece is. I love the tie-dye pattern. I love the subtle turquoise. And it's not dark black. It's more of a charcoal color. And I think it just looks really good. Although it is fall, I won't be wearing this as much unless I'm gonna be layering it. This is a good spring and summer piece. Okay, so we're gonna move on to this scarf right here, which is also from All Saints. If you guys watched my live q and I definitely talked about all these pieces. This scarf isn't too particularly warm because of how translucent it is. It's nothing thick like cashmere or anything like that, but I really like its hints of pink. It reminds me of Japanese cherry blossoms, and I think when paired with an all black fit or something like that, it's a good way for this piece to stand out while bringing some extra warmth. And I think it does lean a little bit towards Asian streetwear whenever you pair in an all black fit. I just think it's cool. So next up, I think it's something that you guys will actually really like, and it's the Everyday Elements Backpack from Alpaca Gear. So this is what a backpack should be. It's water repellent, has a premium construction, secret pockets, and a mod system. So Alpaca Gear sells these mods that you can attach on the inside of this backpack, you know, for your keys or hand sanitizers, those are what I have. And that just offers more organization, no more having to dig to the bottom of your backpack for your keys. You've got your standard laptop pockets, any timeless design that can handle the elements. Can't really beat that. Now, to be honest, this is something I probably wouldn't fly with. There's other bags I'd probably use, but for an everyday commuter bag or going down to the coffee shop, getting some work done, this is great. So now we have this elevated flannel jacket from Scotch and Soda. So again, if you watch my live stream Q&A with Nordstrom, you will know that this is gifted and a few other pieces as well. And this is a pricey piece, but I can kind of see why. Got a nice tactile hardware with a rose gold hue, heavy fabric construction, and some details that make this stand out from your typical flannel. It is a bit long on me hem-wise, cause I'm, you know, I'm five foot seven. So this is definitely going to the tailor along with a bunch of other items whenever I 
have the time to do that. All right, so now let's talk about fog essentials, which I feel like everyone has a piece from them or has encountered them on social media or in person. Honestly, I think you can get more for your money, even with the scotch and soda flannel, but this piece does have some cool elements to it. You've got that thick collar and thick sleeve cuffs. This shoulder stitching right here is really a nice detail and really emphasizes the pecs. And I got it in a size medium, but just be aware, I don't think this is great for peak summer whenever it's really, really hot because the construction is really nice. They use a heavy fabric, but for summertime, like I said, I think you're better off with a Uniqlo Arizm tee, but this is a really cool shirt. Okay, next up we have some Nike sweats that I actually bought for a upcoming campaign that I'm doing with them. You know, this one was sent over to me by them, but sometimes you gotta spend a little bit extra to make your campaigns much nicer. So these are basically the same sweats. This one just has a two-tone look with a pop of color and thicker drawstrings. And this one's just the standard dry fit sweats. You know, it has a zipper pocket right there, a really, really, really tight cuff, just the same as this one. So whenever you hike up your sweats to show off some crew socks to the sneakers, it'll actually stay there, which I really appreciate. Only time will tell though if that will actually hold up and doesn't stretch out. But yeah, as you can see, it's the same exact thing. You got the YKK zipper, very nice and premium. Listen, fellas, you know you got good zippers when you could zip it down and zip it back up without using another hand. And of course, their sweats, they're very comfortable and cozy. This one isn't too much more money than this one, and it does stand out a lot more. So I think you might get more of your money's worth with this piece right here. Got that bold pop of yellow from this Nike embroidery. And yeah, I've really been enjoying these. As you can see, this is empty, and we're gonna move on from that to some useful items. And check this out right here. This is the Anchor Gan Prime Charging Brick. So what's really cool about this piece is this is your standard charging brick for, let's just say, your laptop, but it has three ports to it. So you can charge your laptop, you can charge your phone and you can charge another device. So this basically replaces all your chargers for whenever you travel. You don't have to pack three different chargers. It's all packed in one. And this doubles up as a portable charger that has 10,000 milliamp hours. So along with not having to bring my laptop charger, phone charger, or my external portable charger, I just gotta bring this. So next up is something that'll spruce up your space and that is the Philips Hue Gradient Lamp. So you can see a little bit of the light down over there. And as you can see, whenever I turn it off because you can control it through the phone, it feels a little bit more dull and it is very subtle, right? But it makes a huge difference. I wasn't really planning on filming, you know, whenever the sun was gonna set and had to adjust my light. So my whole lighting setup isn't perfect, but if you're a creator, a light like that, something like that is going to spruce up your filming studio. And if you're not a creator, this is just something that'll spruce up your bedroom, your living room space, and you're gonna adjust the colors, set the mood, something well worth investing in your place. All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in any of the pieces, I'll leave them all linked in the description. Open all those links in different tabs. In full transparency, if you guys do make a purchase on any of those links, I will get a small kickback, which just goes back to supporting the channel. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on the socials, and until then, stay fly, deuces.